Okay, you're welcome back to the show. It is still Nigeria's finest in the studio with us on the program this particular day. Uh, praise Adejo. But let me just find out if I was really pronouncing that very well. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything you want to add to that? Those names, Praise yeah. Adejo. Um, well, my name is Praise. My traditional name is Ubidi. My surname, Adejo. Please permit me to ask. The Adejo actually is taking me to the West, but let's find out. Um, actually, Middle Belt, Amigala. My tribe. I'm from Kogi State. Yeah. Okay. That is the essence <laughs> of being on the show. Anyway, just to let the fans there know where we're coming from because yeah. uh, you have a, a lot of support from wonderful Nigerians and yes, Africans sir. in 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 diaspora. Let's move into collaborations in Nigeria first before we look at the international scene. Yeah. How would you? What would be your evaluation for the last five years in Nigeria? Um. I mean, the music industry has actually taking um, a major step higher and um, I'd like to say big kudos to the Nigerian musicians trust me they're actually doing great for the country as a, as a whole and yeah I mean we're doing we're doing we're doing great okay. the assessment of the Nigerian music industry in the last five years has been awesome wow this is good mm -hmm. okay now I'm gonna ask you the question that every other person watching on the on the screen right now, would like to ask. Yeah. Can we see his eyes? <laughs> yes, we can. Praise us this this order, please. Let's have you take. Uh, yes, the gig off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, the reason why I have my glasses on uh, is just because I mean I've had like a, I've had a crazy week. I've had a crazy um, busy tight week. Week. Yeah. One. yeah sh my schedule has been crazy, so I mean I've had less sleep. So okay, that's the reason why. Okay. I <laughs> okay, but we've seen that now. Thank you for doing that. Anyways, uh, let, let's move on once one yeah. step further. Yeah. There is. I don't. I don't want to say is the revolution or the rebirth of praise. Yeah. The international collaboration you're having. Yeah. Presently. Take us a little bit into it. Let's have a deep dive on that. Okay. The intent. Yeah. And the expectations too. Yeah. My my um I have a thought that I have a thought pattern, basically. And um and it goes to be a great person or to be a legend, you have to associate with greatness, you have to associate yourself with great people, you have to associate yourself with legends. And which brings me to my collaboration. Uh, my Collaborations. Let me talk about the international collaborations. Okay. I've had like two. The first was with Awilo Lugumba, and that was for the song Oshe. I mean, I did I, I did a collaboration with, with Awilo, and nobody expected praise. The same dude who sang Rich and Famous, same dude who sang Epic with Mi, yeah. same dude who sang Stupid Song with Bears, same dude who sang uh, Afro Guinea to be doing um, a sukkah song. But I mean, this also brings me to my versatility. As okay. a musician, it's key for you to be a versatile artist. It's oh, good. that's the internet. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very important for you to be able to evolve in different situations. I mean, that's why you have R. Kelly. All right. R. Kelly can give you a 90s jam he can give you a 70s jam and sure. you will feel it he, he can give you a 2014 song yeah. and you would feel it so I mean with that you'll be able to evolve with time basically and for me versatility versatility is very key and I decided to do a song with Awilo and uh, before then I actually produced the song dropped the hook and I was I played it for a couple of my friends I was like okay well who would kill this song? Like, we're just joking. Like, who would kill this song? My friend was like, ah, imagine a willow on this song. Or imagine, like, Fali Pupa. I was like, nah, man, I think a willow will be, a willow will be murder. Because, I mean, a willow is a legend. We all know that. Yeah. A willow has, his music ruled the Nigerian club. Yeah, yeah. Radio airtime at some point. Almost had a decade. Yeah, I know. So, I was like, well, you never know. Six months later, I was online and, um, I was, I, I was just online chat like usually the way I do just trying to just chat up with my fans just okay. get like a feedback and I went was online I was like ah I followed him the next thing he followed back I was like okay wow interesting <laughs> so I now sent him a DM I was like wow so I'm honored I'm really honored for this follow back and I'm really really grateful it's an honor to have you follow me back I mean I've listened to your music even while growing up, even when I didn't even think I was going to do music, 
like i mean you've been like a great inspiration to many people in yeah. Nigeria, in the nigerian music scene he now replied to me he was like wow he thank you very much it's a blessing that he also thinks i'm a great musician i'm like oh okay so <laughs> he knows me right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knows. And i was like wow it would be an honor to um to to do a track with, with, with you sir and he was like sure if you have a track let's let's just do it then actually i i, I now give him a shout out like a normal um, Twitter shout out. Okay. So a friend of mine now retweeted. My friend, a friend of mine, she's actually um, into the music industry. Okay. But she's not based in Nigeria. In Nigeria. So I now called my friend. I was like, I ah, guess what? This is what happened. Awilo just followed me on Twitter. Like he even retweeted. She now laughed. I was like, Why are you laughing? She was like, He's even here. I'm like, Are you serious? Stop playing pranks on. Like she's, I'm serious. serious. So I now sp- she now okay, speak with him. So I now spoke. And I mean, to just cut the whole long story. The rest is history. Yeah, I know. And we have that to share. So yeah, then what brings me to Mercy? If you listen to Mercy, Mercy has a fusion of it has elements of shy guy. Oh, Lord of Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Yeah, you know, yeah. So I was like, uh, yeah, if, if I'm going to do a mix for Mercy. The perfect person for Mercy has to be Diana King. I never knew where she was. I didn't like. I mean, I didn't even know where to get Diana King. I mean, it's been it's been a minute, and um, I just had that planned out. And I, I spoke with my people, and we made researches. We got to we were able to get our people. Yeah. And I mean, we spoke, came to an agreement, and we we brought her down to um, Lagos for. Um, the remix and also um, the launch of um, um, MTM Music Plus, and we recorded the remix for Mercy, and it drops today. That is what we're actually saying on the show here. Yes, In case you're watching this, <laughs> this is it for us. I, I, I'm going to ask you the the, the the advent of the social media yeah. and how it has made the world one now. Yeah, we're no longer in the age of information. It's now the age of sharing because yeah. you can easily. Check out what you said, the success story about the, the track with, with Avilo. Let's have yeah. the impact of social media in the industry at large. Um, the impact of social media in the music industry is a great one, and I would say a positive one, because it has made music um, easily accessible. Okay. Like easily accessible. And, I mean, you, could, you, can, you, can get, you can get to know what's new with anybody who you're really interested in. In. So I mean, the social media has made um, products very e- e- easily accessible. All right, uh, we're going to take one more before we, before you leave us to the studio. But I, and it's just uh, how do you make up the funds for collaboration? Because if you're doing something with the likes of Awilo yeah, and uh, Diana King, uh, this are this are this are cost oriented kind of yeah. collaboration yeah. how does it work does it come free because you do the same thing they do or let's let's have an insight well at times i mean when you weigh um when you weigh your options basically and you see what you can get in the long run yeah i mean it could be way easier so it depends on how you it depends on what you bring to the table and depends on what they bring to the table wow yeah. this is good Lastly, you're going to be staring at one of the cameras. I don't uh-huh. know. You have three of them. And just do something that you wouldn't do on the stage or while in the booth <laughs> <laughs> to your wonderful audience on the program, Sugar and Spice. Let's have you do something. Are you serious? What I want to do on stage? And you will do it in the studio. Something that you is, is esoteric to you. This is exclusive to Praise now. And you're doing this that for being on the show, this is what I'm giving to the entire world. Mm. Okay, take a deep breath. That's a tough one, though. Okay. That's, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Okay, something in the booth, not something on stage. Something in the booth. Not on stage. <laughs> the thing is, the, the, the issue with this is everything I do in the booth, I can do <laughs> on stage. stage. I'm not just I'm not just a studio artist. Yeah. What I anything I do or decide to do in the booth, I'm very sure that I can replicate on stage so that's also tough. now you're on the you're on the free zone let's go <laughs> <laughs> if i tell you see you be the only one for me 
If I tell you, see, there is no other one, no, nah, nah. If I tell you, see, all them skeletons, me know they see. Oh, nah, nah. Oh, nah, nah. If I tell you, see, I go marry you come tomorrow. If I tell you, see, I go take away all your sorrows. I wish them no, it ain't you mean to me, them no, no. Oh, nah, nah. Oh, oh no, no. That's so, that's so great. <laughs> thank, thank you for that. That's, that was quite interesting. And the, the last thing for us here is um, we just wanted to take uh, 30 seconds to shout out to all your fans yes, here in sir. Nigeria. And please leave us with your social media handles so that we yes, can sir. follow. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to NTA4. I mean, the support over the years. I mean, you guys have been by my side, pushed my music. Even right from Project Fame to this very point, I'd like to say a big thank you to you guys. Shout out to all the OAPs. Shout out to my fans out there who believe in the brand praise, who have supported and loved my music. God bless you guys and keep you guys. Expect great music. Expect the album, the rich and famous album, which is due to drop in August. Trust me, promises to be an amazing one, an amazing and versatile album. Shout out to... My record label, Extreme Music. Um, shout out to everyone who loves me, basically. And I'd like to say, before I go, um, tonight um, we're having a party, the biggest party so far this year at Federal Palace. Find your way to Federal Palace Hotel tonight by 7, 7 p.m. And trust me, it's going to be an amazing party. Trust me. Come, come connect with me. I'll be there. Diana King will be there. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, at Praise8, P-R-A-I-Z-8. If you're on Instagram at official praise and um, Facebook www.facebook.com slash praise eight and trust me you'll find out what's new about me and we'll take you away from there. Once again, I want to thank you for coming. Sir, thank show. you very much. And we hope yes, when the album drops, it's gonna be gracing the platform here again. Yes, sir, I will.